All right, so these are the materials you need for this project. We'll start off up here. This is a PVC gutter and a couple end caps and a coupler, one inch coupler. I got it a little bigger. You can get a smaller size for an exact fit if you want to, but I wanted it um, a little bigger just to slide in and out uh, more easily. And then a three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe. And here we have the lights. These are all over eBay and Amazon. Uh, this particular set is a waterproof red, green, blue, and white. You can turn the colors on by themselves. You can turn the white on by itself. You can adjust the brightness from you know very dim to very bright. Um, you can buy these by themselves or with a power supply if you have a power supply. Um, you know, obviously, you don't need the power supply for it. There's all kinds of information on YouTube um, about these lights, so I won't go into great detail about them. Um, but yeah, this is everything you need right here, and we'll get started shortly. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to cut this gutter to size. Next, I'm going to cut the coupler in half. Now when you look closely at these end caps, you see they have a little ridge in it. And what I'm going to do is ultimately I'm going to put this piece here like this. But if you see, it's not going to sit flush with that little ridge. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use a chisel. And I'm just going to chisel that off. Um, I suppose another idea would be to sand it off or, or whatever. But uh... Yeah, that's the next step. Get rid of that little ridge. So the chisel took uh, all of 30 seconds to get rid of that little line there. So that's what I'd recommend. Just grab a grab a chisel and uh, and get rid of the line. Although if you don't have a chisel, I'm sure sandpaper will work fine. Now on a similar note, I noticed that this end cap on one side, I don't know if you can see this, has some lettering. Let me move over here. So it has some raised lettering here. There you go. Now you can see it, kind of. Try to focus this one more time. There it is. Anyway, I'm going to try to take it over here and just uh, do it the old-fashioned way. Turn it a few times and rub it on this concrete. And then I'll clean that off, but... Now that's a nice smooth surface that I can use to uh, glue it on the inside of the end cap. Alright, so next I'm just going to grab some glue, glue this down, clamp it down, and then let it dry, and then we're on to the next step. So the next step is to slide those end caps on the gutter and cut the uh, PVC pipe to fit and then just slide it right in there and what I did is actually I put one one end on one end cap on and then I put the pipe in there and then I put the other end cap on and uh, I just snapped it together and next what I'll do is I'll just roll the lights right around the strip lights right around that PVC pipe and after you put the LED lights on the PVC pipe, it'll look a little bit like this. And what I did is I just wrapped some uh, 
black electrical tape on to get it started to hold it in place and then just spun that pipe as I pulled the uh, lights off the reel that it came on and came to this side and did the same thing just uh, taped it on there and then when I hook it up obviously I'll hook it up to uh, this side here the power supply to that side here and we'll see what it looks like alright so let's see how this looks now this tank is obviously empty it's brand new I'm uh, just getting things set up so I'll uh, show you what it looks like with water in it eventually but for now I'll just give you a quick peek what this looks like uh, first I'll show you this remote um, you can see this top section controls the colors so you have all these colors the red green blue and the white that's uh, produced with the with the colored lights so it's not like a true white like the independent lights that are on here that are white um, there's how bright it is up or down on and off this section here controls the actual pure white um, LEDs every other LED as I mentioned before is either color or just white so let me give you a little demo I'm going to turn the colors on alright so that's red obviously but green blue and then the white using the colored LEDs and then there's all these in between right so teal there's an orange there's a yellow so on and so forth so let's go back like a blue and then again here's I want to make it really bright as bright as it gets and then dimmer alright turn these off and independently we'll come turn the whites on and make that brighter and see it gets pretty bright so you saw how many bulbs are in here so it's obviously overkill it's plenty of bright but uh like I said, they're so inexpensive, I'm not worried about cutting it and, and I'm not worried about using too much or, or whatever. It's not going to get hot. I can always turn it down, as you can see, if it gets too bright. And you can also, obviously, use both at the same time. So this is the white. Now I'll add the color back in, so that adds a little red to the white, a little green to the white blue with white turn the whites up a little bit anyway you get the point it looks like it looks it's gonna look pretty good once I get the fish in there these are the uh, some of the programs I told you about right it's pretty freaky turn the whites off here So you can do all kinds of stuff like that. Obviously you don't want to do this to your fish, but if you want the lights to, uh, for any other purpose, you can slow it down, speed it up, all that good stuff, but I won't be using that obviously. But anyway, yep, looks like this will work pretty well. Thanks for watching.